In pro wrestling moves can make the difference. Luckily there are way more aspects to consider when it comes to judge a wrestler, but sometimes having a good arsenal can turn a bland boring guy into a superstar. That said, sometimes there are moves that you simply can't like. And just like you, I have some as well. A warning. I don't necessarily think that there are inherently bad moves, however, something in their execution or frequency just take away something from them, to the point I started to not like them anymore. Without further ado, I present you the 10 wrestling moves I dislike, most of them in Joshi shows. Number 1. Hanging Cross Armbreaker I like the cross armbreaker a lot. This variation implies the use of ropes or the corner for leverage, a classic move of Minoru Suzuki who surely needs no introduction. So what's wrong, you say? Why do you hate it, you say? Well, the fact is, if Suzuki was the only one using it, I wouldn't mind at all. But after a lot of event hopping in Japan, I saw it being used by many wrestlers, notable ones Konami and Tai Honma. The real problem here is watching a wrestler sitting on a corner and waiting for the opponent to offer the arm. After a couple of times it's clear what's your strategy, so why people keep running to the corner. That's what makes me dislike the, the move. Or better, its execution and abuse. Number 2. Propeller Clutch This move is used by Gato Moves Mei Suruga. I think I saw a very similar move also in NXT after watching Maze, could it be? Anyway, back to the move. It has nothing wrong in itself. The problem is that I saw it used as a finisher in a couple of occasions and in at least one circumstance it was winning. Since it is not a very impactful and is not even really fast move, the setting up is quite slow, I can't really see anyone being defeated by this move. And that's all. Number 3. Flip Spear The Spear. I read somewhere this is the move assigned to those who can't do moves. Damn, this is really unfair. A heavy guy breaking the opponent in two with a spear is what I would call effectiveness. Now, this variation was mainly used by Hiroe Nagahama of Wave and now also by Ice Ribbon Champion Suzu Suzuki. What's wrong with it? Well, I would say that the need to do a flip just takes away from the piercing power of the regular spear. Whenever I watch this move I think, yeah, it's cool, but also that looks weaker than a regular one. Just take down people like a train instead of being the doggy toy making flips. Number 4. Missile Dropkick A move old school fans often hate. And I agree with them. The dropkick from the top rope has really nothing wrong in itself, but its setting is really terrible more often than not due to bad timing. Usually you can find the wrestler standing for many seconds on the top rope while waiting for the opponent to be close enough. And nobody seems to care about it. So I won't make it a, my personal battle, but would be easy for everyone to do it better. Number 5. Rope Taunt in Tag Team Matches that's not really a move, but allowed me to include it in the list. It's a main feature of team matches in Joshi Wrestling. Usually we can see one wrestler loosely stuck on the ropes and two or more opponents posing and taunting her. It's funny, it gives time to the fans to take pictures, but if you see it in every tag match, it's just not fun anymore. Or at least not as it was the first few times. Number 6. Chokeslam. The big move of the big mean guys. Lifting a man by his neck and slam it on the ground. Awesome. So man, why do you hate all the cool moves? Well, in this case it's not the move or its execution, but who does it? Under certain circumstances it's really painful to watch people under 160 centimeters, or those who wait like a paper sheet, to do this. It's not suspension of disbelief, it's just, what? Can be effectively used in comedy, like the almighty The Hurricane back in the days, but when you see a little girl using a chokeslam in the main event against an opponent 10 cm taller, well, uh, that, that's not for me. But if we talk about the big mean guys, or girls, I like it. 
Number 7. Forearm Strike Contest <laughs> Let me tell you this straight. Such clashes are a common feature in Japanese wrestling in general and in rookie vs veteran matches. Some complain about this being unrealistic, and they are right. Would you stand still taking a beating for the sake of it? But my point is that too often it's always the same thing going on in every match. The veteran invites the rookie to throw a forearm, they throw one hit to each other for a couple of times, usually with the rookie falling on their butt, until the younger wrestler hits a sequence of forearms that systematically do not hurt and then gets killed by the veteran. Put kicks or slaps or whatever strike you want instead of forearms and you will get the same boring routine at every match. Don't get me wrong, I'm fine with its existence, but when you watch it nearly in every match, it gets really annoying. Number 8. 619. Oh boy. When I was 14, maybe I was led to believe Rey Mysterio was the only one using this move. At the time, only WWE was available for this middle high school student. Then you discover that it was Satoru Sayama's move. Then you start watching Joshi and find that every company has at least one wrestler doing it the Rey Mysterio way. The kid at the time was amazed by such agility and was like, oh, nobody else can do that. Well, is there somebody who can't? In Joshi, it's quite common move, but most of the time looks very weak. Also, it is very keen to be poorly executed and to me, but I get it, my problem only, it ruins the flow of the match if that happens. I don't blame anyone for wanting to use it, but since how easy it seems to botch it, maybe it could be wiser to spare the move for more meaningful times. Number 9. Canadian Destroyer <laughs> To be fair, this is something I only watch it on TV and never live, bless my choices in live shows, and I can't recall any Joshi show where it was used. Doesn't mean it was never used, only that I am unaware of. But seriously, what the heck is this? A flip pile driver. Why? I literally can't get it. It's against physics. And logic. Against everything. It's the pro wrestling version of an alien conspiracy. This could be the only move I really hate because of how over the top it is. But I can't get mad on it. It's just a matter of taste. Number 10. Super kick. Spamming. Oh. Yeah, the super kick. A super kick. Right in the head. It should be a cool move, right? Damn you right, I love the super kick. But what I do not like is its spamming in one single match. A kick in the face is a kick in the face. Best case, you're knocked out. Worst, you're dead. So spamming 15 of them in the same match may either mean that those kicks are extremely weak or that the opponent's head is made of steel. And if it's the second one, you're quite dumb for kicking it 15 times. That's the reason why the super kick at times really enraged me. It is a cool move, but too often abused. And once again, I find myself saying it's not the move itself, but how many times and how it is executed. These were my 10 disliked moves, despite this definition doesn't really match my opinion on them. Thanks for watching, have a nice day! Oh, seems like it is a must-do thing in this kind of videos to ask people what their favorite, least favorite things are. Do I have to? Hmm. Okay. What are you 10 most disliked moves in pro wrestling? Let me know. Or not. Do as you like. I hope to offer some more valuable content in the near future, but I have to find an agreement with some third parties to do so. I'll let you know, hopefully. Meanwhile, have a nice day and stay safe.